Yeah, what do you think, Don? Should we like do the x plus y equals to the a plus b square? No? You you, you think the e equals to mc square is better than this? Clive? Uh-huh. Oh, or, 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 or maybe maybe we'll talk later about this. I'm gonna I'm gonna address the subscribers right now. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Diesel Place Out. Thank you all so much for tuning in to me once again. And we reached 1,000 subscribers. Oh my God, isn't that amazing? I I I'm totally lost for words, guys. I I don't really know what to say. I've been lost for words for two episodes. <laughs> Yesterday and today, I, I didn't expect to get 1,000 subscribers just like that and it's slowly increasing. It's um, it's it's amazing. I, I couldn't have done it without you guys. And you know what? I'm, I'm really happy that my pool of subscribers that I have are really awesome. You know, the bunch of guys who have been commenting on the videos, um, liking on it, sharing it, telling me that, hey, you know what, Diesel, you should do this, you should do that. I'm, this is perfect guys this setting is so perfect i think this is like the greatest community ever and i'm really touched and i'm really happy guys so keep the comments the likes and everything else coming remember to smash the sub button you you have not and of course tell it to your family friends and everybody <laughs> and whoever actually plays arc you know maybe i'll expand my channel one day to address other games but today right today it's the 1000 subscriber special video for you guys and we are joined down here by professor don lino right and clive so professor don lino and clive uh you know we were actually discussing the three of us were actually discussing i don't know what diesel you actually made an awesome video previously that talked about uh, Trank Arrows versus your Tranquilizer Dart versus your Shocking Tranquilizer Dart which got you like 33,000 views and at that moment of time or you know when you made the video you only had like 90 subscribers so you should do something for those guys who helped you reach 1,000 subscriber mark and I totally agreed with them you know we are going to do something really special today which I think nobody has done before in ARC I'm gonna go one step ahead guys and I'm going to do this for you guys you know remember in my previous video we spoke about all that we are going to go one step ahead and I am going to talk about this that's right folks okay we're gonna talk about the bow versus the compound bow versus the crossbow okay and we're not gonna just stop there because it's easy we don't do things easy in diesel place arc we go in depth all right we go in depth in experimentation so what i'm going to do right now is that we are going to compare the bow versus the compound bow versus crossbow okay we get the basic the primitive one first i'm going to go and get one primitive crossbow right now i don't have it in my inventory right now so we're going to see what's the torpor infliction for a bow compound bow and crossbow and for those guys who have been playing art for some time or if you guys didn't know a bow does the least amount of torpor followed by the compound bow and then the most amount of torpor is gonna be done by the crossbow but we're not gonna just stop right there like I mentioned what we're gonna do is that we are going to come we are going to go one step ahead and we are going to see in terms of weapon damage how many percent of weapon damage you actually need to compete with the next tier bow right i know it sounds a little bit confusing right now so i'm gonna give you guys an example all right so for example you know you have like a let's say a, a mastercraft bow right with 223 percent weapon damage so is a mastercraft bow with 223 percent weapon damage better than a primitive crossbow with 100 percent damage or is it actually better than a journeyman crossbow with 150 percent weapon damage so what's the secret formula guys what's the secret formula so that every one of us actually know that hey you know what my ascendant bow is better than your primitive crossbow so there is a secret formula to this which i actually did some experimentation and in terms of average wise um i did some calculation with the help of don lino professor don lino and clive and i came up with this numbers and i'm going to show you guys actually how we got 
those numbers. So fun fact before that, okay, for those guys who are tuning in, I know lots of you guys have been started to playing, I mean, started playing ARC recently. So for example, uh, let's see. Okay, we have two ramshackle bows down here, if you can check it out. So one of my ramshackle bow is a weapon damage of 126.3%. And then I've got another ramshackle bow with a weapon damage of 139.3%. So ramshackle, ramshackle, mastercraft, mastercraft, journeyman, journeyman, apprentice, apprentice, every single um, classification. It doesn't actually mean that both the items will actually give you the same output of weapon damage so we're not so concerned i'm not so concerned about whether it's a mastercraft bow or apprentice bow or or a journeyman or whatsoever what we are really concerned about is the weapon damage because the more the weapon damage you have the more the topor you're gonna get so let's go to the experimentation right now all right, so let's test out with the primitive bow. Ninety, primitive compound bow. One to one point five. Primitive crossbow. One five seven point five. Mastercraft bow with two hundred and twenty three point nine percent weapon damage. One nine eight point zero. Ascendant bow with four hundred and eighty three percent weapon damage. Oh, it's still increasing. It's 432.0 was the maximum. Compound bow with 178.2% weapon damage. 1.9. Whoops, we gotta load up. 216.0 Ascendant Compound Bow at 455.4% weapon damage. Five four nine point zero Crossbow Mastercraft two hundred point six percent weapon damage let's see how much you gotta stop pooping baby t oh my god three one five point zero so mastercraft crossbow three five five point five percent weapon damage Five five eight point zero. Presenting the table of results. So there you go, guys. For the bow, compound bow and crossbow. So for a bow, you have zero point nine average torpor, and for a compound bow, one point two, and for crossbow, one point six torpor. All of this is one percent damage torpor. Don't worry, I'll explain to you guys if you are already getting a little bit confused. So. If you are going to put them against each other, this is what everybody wants to know. The bow versus the compound bow first. So what you will have to actually have to do is that you'll have to take the maximum amount of damage the compound bow actually does and times 1.4. If it's if the damage of the bow it's more than that number, then you are going to do more chopor using the bow instead of the compound bow and the magic number between the compound bow versus the crossbow is also 1.4 but if you are matching the bow against the crossbow then you will have to go with 1.8 
All right, guys, so it's time to actually check if the formula works. So I've got a whole new bunch of uh, bows and uh, compound bows down here, all with different stats from what we actually tested. So we have a uh, compound bow with a weapon damage of 19T.6. So the bow has to be, let's see, if it's times 1.4, a little bit of mathematics, it's supposed to be 266.84. So we have one which is lesser than that and one which is more. So let's give it a go for the compound bow first and see how much of torpor we can actually get. So we got 229.5. That's the maximum, okay? We're going to go ahead with the uh, Mastercraft bow next once the torpor depletes down to zero. Okay, the Mastercraft bro with, let's see, damage again, 205.2, let's go for it. Oh, it only gave us a 184.5. Ascendant bow with a weapon damage of 331.3, so the number to bid is 229.5. Oh, pooped again. All right, there you go, guys. 297.0. So we saved the best for the last test, guys. Right, it's the bow versus the crossbow. So for the crossbow to the bow, you need a times 1.8. So you have, I have an apprentice and ascendant uh, weapon damage as shown, and both of them are actually, if you times one point eight percent of this weapon damage, they actually fall below five eighty four point nine percent of this ascendant bow. So if the calculations are right, this should come in the lowest uh, torpor level, followed by the ascendant crossbow, and then the ascendant bow should give you the most amount of torpor. So let's go for it. Let's start out with the apprentice crossbow first. Two one one point five. Ascendant crossbow. Four three six point five. And so the magic number to break four three six point five. <laughs> there you go, guys. We've already passed five hundred. Alright guys, so a quick summary for those guys who are totally lost in math. I was too initially when I started doing this video until I like got a hang out of it. I, I took like two days. So, a bow versus a compound bow just to make sure that you get the total damage, uh, weapon damage from the compound bow times 1.4 and if your bow's uh, damage is more than 1.4, go ahead with the bow. Your bow will do better, alright? And then if it's a compound bow versus a crossbow, Take your damage of the crossbow times 1.4. And then if it's a crossbow versus a bow, then take the damage of the crossbow times 1.8. And if your bow has more weapon damage, then the crossbow, when you times it by 1.8, you will get more torpor, guys. So the magic number is 1.4, 1.4, 1.8. That's right, guys. So thank you all so much for tuning once again to Diesel Plays Arc. And I really hope that this episode was totally inform informative to you guys. I, I was like cracking my head and thinking about, you know, I got to really give back something to the 1,000 subscribers that I have. Those amazing people. So thank you all so much, guys. Remember to check my other videos. I'll leave a like and a comment below. And for those who have not subbed yet, remember to smash the sub button. Until next time. Take care and goodbye. Happy surviving, guys.